I was in the hospital and I was about to be discharged after having surgery and I woke up and I couldn't speak. I couldn't um, speak with the nurse. My, eventually when I could talk it was garbled and I began to realize that my left side was going numb. I told the nurse that I thought I was having a stroke. I had an MRI and CAT scans and several other tests and but it was determined from the MRI that I did have a stroke. Uh, that I um, am doing really well now. A week later, I'm able to walk, I'm able to use my hand, and I'm able to um, speak again. <laughs> when the patient was brought to the hospital, she could not talk, she could not walk, she could not use her left side. With timely therapy, she has regained her independence and her mobility. This is exactly why neurology is so rewarding. She presents to the emergency room with a sudden onset neurologic deficit. Uh, that precipitates a stroke code being called. And what a stroke code um, essentially gets you is a, a stacked evaluation by the stroke team, which is made up of residents, nursing, and pharmacy in the interest of delivering time-sensitive therapy uh, as soon as possible. Residency takes a medical student and converts him or her into a physician. So it's a real-life uh, practice under close supervision. And stroke simulation is uh, an exercise that teaches the proper uh, management of a so-called stroke code, wherein uh, there's a, uh, a non-patient, a pretend patient, and the resident can come in and do the quick assessment and the quick judgments and review all the data and decide very quickly um, if the patient's a candidate for TPA or thrombectomy. So stroke simulation is an innovative program which teaches emergency procedures for management of acute stroke. We include neurology residents, emergency medicine residents, internal medicine residents, nurses, pharmacists, and medical students who are an integral part of our team. Welcome to our stroke sim lab. All of the roles are filled by residents. Junior residents take turns evaluating a standardized patient played by another resident. The scenarios are designed to replicate a real stroke code in the emergency room. Junior residents get valuable experience in performing the neurological evaluation in a controlled environment. Now, I want you to bring your arms up for me, okay? And hold them up in the air for 10 seconds. Can you try to bring the, your left arm up? It doesn't go up. Okay, I'll, I'll help you, okay? So just keep it up there for 10 seconds. I'm going to count them to 10. One, two, three. Okay, I'll help you do that. Can you keep it up for five seconds? Okay, I'm sorry. How about this one? Can you bring this up? Hold it up for five seconds for me, keep it there, one. Residents get practice in reviewing imaging independently and learn how to decide whether a clot-busting drug, also known as TPA, or clot retrieval is indicated in a standardized patient. Every simulation ends with a group discussion and feedback session. This has helped us minimize the time it takes to give the right therapy. As we all know, time is brain, and every minute a stroke is left untreated, two million neurons die. Since implementing stroke simulation exercises to educate our residents, we have seen significant improvement in our ability to provide stroke treatment from 50 minutes to an average of 30 minutes or less. Stroke simulation also raised awareness of the time-sensitive nature of stroke management, allowing us to strengthen our program. The ability to translate teaching methods to real-life scenarios to benefit our patient is very satisfying. Neuroscience is definitely rewarding. Very soon after the first time that we did it last year, I saw a lot of excitement among the residents um, I, and, and fellow. I saw a lot of um, improvement in their confidence level. And perhaps most importantly, very soon we saw an improvement in the door to needle time. That means that patients were getting their treatments faster. And the faster we can give the DPA, the more brain is saved. Um, even beyond the, the clinical benefits, um, we've had a couple of, of, of scholarly projects come out of it. So that last year, the stroke simulation team uh, was one of the winners of the AAN Quality Improvement Award. And uh, overall, it's, it's just it's been extremely rewarding for me uh, as a program director to, to teach and mentor residents in neuroscience.